We all know that the ultimate dream of a Pinoy is to have his or her own house. Dixon Apostol came up with a series illustrating that desire. But if we're going to say a painting is just about a house, it's just like a brochure selling houses and condominiums. It is devoid of emotions and paintings, art is supposed to evoke emotions in us. It is supposed to show us another way of looking at things, the mundane things, the everyday things that we normally would not ascribe anything to it other than what we can see with a naked eye. And this is the beauty of Vicks and Apostle's work. He makes us see beyond the walls, the ceilings, the windows, the doors, and the floors. He shows us how a house is reflective of who we are. Take this for example. We see one big house and two little houses. I see a single parent with two kids and the loneliness that is depicted by the maroon, the red background symbolizes somebody losing a spouse, a parent. And then they are now from a family of four, they have become a family of three. And those two kids will grow up without a parent. The loss can be through death or it could be from a separation. And we also see a house is not just a house in itself. It belongs to a community. And who is the leader from this painting? We can't tell. It's like, they're at a loss, they're looking for a leader. They're still searching for guidance, for leadership. But for this particular community, they have their own leader. The church, if you notice, all the houses are facing towards the church. And sometimes in a community has the same type of houses, they all look alike. There still exists a hierarchy. We are not equal. We have a pyramid here the shape of a pyramid and this one because it is on top of the pyramid it is perhaps the de facto leader and here we have uh, the bottom left a house that is detached did it detach itself deliberately or was it ostracized again vixen apostles works are not just about houses they show how we are, how we relate to each other. If earlier we saw a family with one parent, one spouse missing, here we have, again, we have a pyramid here. See? This one at the top is the head of the family. Hopefully it's the father. And this one is the mom. And the rest of the kid. One, two, three, so they have three kids. This one I see is as the oldest being the biggest among the three kids. And this is the Bunso. And this one, he or she is very close, very clingy to the father. And then we have, this is very interesting. This painting, it reminds me of the movie 300 where they fortified themselves as against the um, enemy. This is a community that protects itself against outsiders. And they have little bantai here to help in the fortification. So again, Dixon Apostol, he did a marvelous work giving us his Tahanan series. And I don't think it's a coincidence that his name Apostol is the Filipino equivalent of the word apostle a servant of God. Nothing is accidental in this world. Everything is allowed, orchestrated by the ultimate creator, the ultimate foundation of every home. Realizing who God is in our lives and how we need him, especially during these times, is essential. Art is essential.